error. People of Earth, we are Dan and Phil. And for the next hour, we present some of the biggest stars on the internet. <laughs> This is serious. To take control of your radio. Streamed entirely in video on the Radio 1 website, this is the Internet Takeover. Neighbourhood sweater weather. And you are now listening to Dan and Phil on the Internet Takeover. BBC Radio 1. Hello, everybody. We're back. Dan and Phil, the original YouTubers on Radio 1, back here today to, you know, claim our territory. Like a skunk spraying itself over a lost hiker in the woods. There are so many metaphors you could have <laughs> used to describe that, and you went for a skunk, really? A, a dog weeing on a tree? That's not much better. Well, our, our presence here is a dog weeing up a fire extinguisher. Maybe a really happy dog. May a happy dog. Okay, well, me and Phil are live on the radio. I don't know why they let us talk on the spot and press all the buttons and not any of the other YouTubers, to be no. honest. But here we are. We get to have a bit of fun with you this evening. Of course, we will be doing our favourite internet news, where we tell you guys all of the weirdest news stories that have happened around the world this week in about ten minutes. How is that going to work now I've got glasses? How are we going to wear the news glasses? You're wearing glasses. I am, I've transformed. I'm like Clark Kent. <laughs> well, and we usually had super fill, and I had a boring <laughs> office worker. No, you've got the average you'll version. To, you'll have to double stack the glasses. I guess. Internet news with 50% more glasses coming up. Also, my seven second challenge. Because that was in complete chaos last time we tried your seven second challenge. It was amazing. My baby will return okay, this week. Okay, look forward to that. And remember, like always, our show is live on camera, so get out your mobile and go to bbc.co.uk forward slash radio. Radio 1, where you can see us, you can see my snazzy new glasses. I like to think they're snazzy. They are very snazzy. And also the music videos for our music that we've chosen. Yeah, we get to pick some of the music this week, and now we have my first choice, which is some M.I.A. This song starts off sounding like a reggae remix of Shampoo and ends up sounding like Punjabi MC. I hope you like it. This is Double Bubble Trouble on Radio 1. That was MIA with Double Bubble Trouble on Radio 1, and you are listening to Dan and Phil on the Internet Takeover. So, Phil, how has life been since we last convened? It has been five weeks since we were last on the radio. It's been so long. I feel like I've returned from a school holiday. It's literally been the length of a summer holidays, hasn't it? This it, is the longest we've been apart from the radio. In a good way, though, because the radio terrible. isn't like school. It's like a fun time. I'm loving nice it. Nice save. Please don't fire us. <laughs> also, we just came back. I'm feeling very autumny now that it's cold outside. Is autumn your favourite season? It is. You can have a pumpkin spice latte. I haven't done that yet. I feel like a pumpkin spice latte is the thing of the the season. Last year it was salted caramel. You're just one of those people that cares about the seasonal coffees. I am. I'm I think one like of those some widows. corporate seasonal coffee to get you in the mood for <laughs> autumn, Phil. Although, to be honest, it's been kind of more grey and rainy than it has been crunchy red leaves in England. It has, and my October has not got off to a good start. Why? The crotch incident. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please tell everybody listening to the radio about the crotch incident, Phil? Yeah, well, rare occurrence, I was actually washing some clothes. So very I opened impressive. the washing machine, put my clothes in, and our cupboard door is a very sharp cupboard door that opens into the kitchen. We must say, the door, the cupboard door, is a very... Very, very square cupboard door. One of those ones that's definitely not baby proof. I don't know who designed this. Anyway, I thought I'd make myself a cup of tea. I walked towards it at full speed and the cupboard door collided with my crotch at about 30 How miles per hour. How crotchy are we talking here? Uh, it avoided the vital zones. <laughs> it avoided the, <laughs> the special areas, right. But I still got a very big bruise in an embarrassing place. So it's definitely not a bruise that you can show anyone? No. Oh dear. Unless we want to get removed from no, the radio. No, can't do that on the radio, no. Nope. That's what I wanted to talk about today. Not my crotch, okay. but please make me feel better with your October fails. October fails? Yeah, how's October gone wrong for you? Yeah, I mean, it's only been October for six days but how has it already gone horribly wrong in your life? If you have a story of some kind of October incident that's happened, please share it so Phil feels less weird about his bruise. Please. Tweet us with hashtag OctoberFails with your fail, or if you have your phone, you can just text us on 81199 and we will read some of those out during the show. Yes, we will. And now a song chosen by me. It's by The Shins, who I discovered after watching the film Garden State, and I listened to them a lot when I worked at a vet's and watched ferrets getting neutered. So it brings back some strange memories. <laughs> of course. Here's Phantom Limb. Phantom Limb, The Shins. You can find that on their album Wincing the Night Away. 
Get to bbc.co.uk slash Radio 1 now to watch the Dan and Phil show on Radio 1. So, Dan, do we have any October fails? People have been tweeting hashtag October fails on Twitter, such as Lily, who tweeted, guys, it's the first of Halloween on the 1st <laughs> of October. Quite embarrassing, but seasonal. I appreciate your commitment. Yep. Camelia dropped a pumpkin on her foot and she thinks she might have broken it. People are getting in early with this Halloween thing, aren't mm, they? Yeah. Well, I mean, you're saying that, Phil. You're Mr. Halloween three yep. months early, aren't I you? I love Halloween. And someone called Fantadote, nice name, has already used up all of their 3G yesterday and now has no internet on their phone for the rest of the month. Also phone related, Amelia texted in and said, I dropped my phone in a river on the 1st of October. That's sad. And also Molly said, I was playing netball and broke a girl's nose because I threw the ball too hard at her face. <laughs> Way I, to make friends, Molly. <laughs> I would be the person that gets my nose broken by the ball, wherever would, I stand. You would be the victim in that situation. Even if I'm not on a netball court. Exactly. Now, exciting, it's time for us to bring you all of the weirdest news stories from around the world this week in our new and shiny internet news. Let's go to Dan and Phil in the studio. This is the internet news. This is the internet news. Thanks, Dan and Phil from the studio. Internet news. Internet news really goes by without a goat appearing in some way. And this week's story is about Boo, a goat who can't step out of his gazebo because as soon as he does, he faints. Let's have a look at the clip. There he goes. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What happened? Look at his legs. That is actually a breed of goat called fainting goats that pass out whenever they're surprised in any way or by loud noises. Oh, he's come back to life I again. love how completely rigor mortis they go when they pass out. Just plank instantly. What is it about the entrance to that gazebo that is so terrifying? I think it's like a force field there or something just passes through and nope. Maybe it's a goat zebo. That's unforgivable. Internet news! The shocking news to emerge from the cat world is that stroking your cat may actually stress them out. Here we have a picture of a stressed cat. What do you mean? Okay, <laughs> is that just a picture that we have to show what a stressed cat looks like? Yeah, what is happening to that cat? It looks like someone threw it at the window. Maybe really sure. it's trying to be Spider-Man? Spider-Cat? Not relevant. Back to the stroking. An animal welfare charity announced last week that cats prefer space and peace rather than being petted. Wow. They issue advice that cat owners should not overstroke their pets. This changes everything, surely. I've had a cat on my knee that's literally vibrated with pleasure from me stroking it. <laughs> what? It's a bit too much information. It wasn't your cat, was it? It wasn't my cat. They should lock you up. Although this does confirm that cats are indeed the most antisocial creatures in the galaxy. They are definitely ruling us rather than we're ruling them. Definitely. They, they are know. our cat overlords. <laughs> Internet news! And finally, here is some amazing footage of an unnamed pug who, when it woofs, sounds like he's shouting for help. Let's have a look at the clip. Help! 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 Oh. Help! Oh. He sounds so scared. That's really disturbing. I couldn't live with that. Really? I couldn't, well, you'd make some kind of noise and then it would start doing it. It would sound like there's an emergency happening in the other room. Imagine it was like, Whoop! I'd run over, where's the fire? Oh, <laughs> dog. He's, he's obviously got a phobia of that squeaky toy, though. Maybe he's got a squeaky <laughs> toy phobia. Really? Do you reckon that's a thing, phobia well, of squeaky toys? Well, there's a phobia for everything. Like, I had a friend that had a phobia of balloons. How did that work out? We had to remove them from our levers do at school. Really? Yeah. Someone's always ruining everything, aren't they? I bet it's got a really long name as well, like Triskaidekaphobia. <laughs> What's that? That's the fear of the number 13. Specifically? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry if Phil just triggered something. That was the Internet News. Back to Dan and Phil in the studio. The Internet News. Thanks, Dan and Phil. Oh, so professional, those guys. That was like magic. Now, if we're, we're still doing the requests, I'm sure 90% of them would be for this song. Oh, definitely. So this is for you guys. Here's Fall Out Boy with Centuries. So, hashtag October Fails is currently trending worldwide. Yay! It is so great to know that many of you have had things go horribly wrong so soon. I feel better about my crotch already. We have some tweets. Paige on Twitter said, hashtag October Fails. I was trying on Halloween masks in a shop and turned around to scream at my friend, but it was a random lady <laughs> and I ran away. Is that worse than hugging someone thinking they're your mum? 
No, that's much more intimate and weird, isn't it? Yeah, that's it? more intimate. I've or done like that a lot. grabbing someone's hand and then realizing it's a stranger in the shopping mall. That's horrible. <sighs> Hannah has committed a cardinal sin. I've bought all my Christmas presents and they're all wrapped and ready to give to people. Hannah, you shouldn't even be saying the C word yet. You what are you freak. doing? What is she doing? She ruins society for the rest of us <laughs> by putting all of this expectations on people. I bet Hannah's excited for the Christmas adverts. Also, Leah gave her elderly grandma food poisoning <laughs> by offering to cook her dinner. That is a sad tale. You should probably get a takeaway next time, Leah. <laughs> Hopefully, the thought was worth it. Okay, so last week we attempted, or last time we were on the show, we attempted to play a song where we had a bit of an issue with the DVD player that we play all of our music from, and we played the wrong Britney Spears song. <gasps> now, this song, I feel like it's the anthem of our old radio show, it so, so it is. definitely needed its moment, so I had to do that today. Here we have Britney Spears with Toxic on Radio 1. Maybe can't you see? Britney Spears, Toxic on Radio 1. Um, that was Phil trying to do his sexy Britney voice, it if you wondered what that gargoyle noise was at the start <laughs> of the song. I think I'm improving, though. Mm, maybe, can't you see? <laughs> it's like being violated every okay. time. I will <laughs> stop. I will stop. Please don't. Anyway, so we've been spending a lot of time in our office making gaming videos. We have. Yeah. Can, can we plug our gaming channel? Or no. Not? We're real DJs. We're not allowed. <laughs> Unfortunately not. So long that our sofa might have a body imprint in it. Seriously, I think an yep. entire body imprint with arms and elbow holes <laughs> might be in that sofa by now, the amount of time I've spent sat on it. But we thought while we were there, we may as well make something fun and relevant. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, your great idea. So here is our Radio 1 word story game. Okay, Phil, we're back on the radio this week, which means that we need to make some kind of video that can get put on the radio on YouTube channel. Well, you don't need to worry about that, Dan, as I already have that completely sorted. <laughs> Do you? I have an idea. What's our idea that you haven't told me yet? The One Word Story Game! One Word Story Game? Yeah. It's not very original. No, it'll be good, seriously. Why? Because we could do it with a twist. <laughs> What's your twist, Phil? You have to use some kind of Radio 1 relevant word. Great! I don't see how this could possibly go wrong. Let's go. Every day at four o'clock, Greg James sings to his little otter a song about raisins. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, you do another one. I think we need a longer story this time, so let's have an <laughs> epic tale. What would they want us to talk about? <laughs> the Live Lounge Flawless Plug. Yesterday, at 10 o'clock, in the Live Lounge, there was a twerk off hyphenated between <laughs> Miley Cyrus and a rampaging bison. <laughs> Suddenly, the bison screamed, <laughs> Help! Because M Miley bit the bison's ass with her tongue. <laughs> what? While <laughs> Miley simultaneously created a baby. Okay, let's let's just let's just stop. Let's stop. Let's, this was a terrible idea. If anyone wants to animate those stories and put no, them on Tumblr, feel free no, to do that. No, don't. No, let's let's bury those stories okay. in a deep, dark mental place. If anyone was listening in the car, why not play with your friends? Yeah, because I mean, you could play I Spy with your kids in the car, or you could talk about Miley Cyrus creating babies after having a twerk off with a bison. The one word story game, people. Thanks, Phil, for the great idea. You're welcome. Wow, Phil, uh, what were you thinking? <laughs> that was a terrible suggestion. I thought it was kind of artistic. Oh, we've all got horrifying mental images in our head now. I didn't want to think of that. Well, to cleanse that, we now have another music video. This is from our first ever radio show 22 months ago. 22 months? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's the story of an evil genius trying to turn the world's population into Pomeranians. What were we thinking when we made this video? Yeah, I don't know. It was like two in the morning. Is that an excuse? Our brain was in a strange place. Okay. This is our video to Muse Supremacy. Okay. 